fashion something where finally like honestly i could truly be myself yeah shameless plug real fast if you guys want to check it out it's called melanie's dream collection it's my first collection and the link will be in my description and i'll talk about kind of which and everyone means real quick so you guys like know a little bit more meaning to it that's the only thing i'm making money off right now and it's not even a lot i'm just gonna be like real I'm splitting it with a guy friend that's helped me with designs. I would mention his name, but I don't know if he wants it to be mentioned, so that's why I'm not. And then Amazon makes like most of those profits because they're the ones with the colors and the designs making it happen. Real quick, a huge shout out to Amazon because they're the ones that are really, really helping. But yeah, if you want to support me, check out the collection. Real quick, I'll talk about which everyone kind of means to me. <laughs> not everyone everything in the collection like what it all means to me is what i'm trying to say so as i've talked about on the channel if you guys know me really well there's this guy dreams dude is what i call him on the channel i don't say his name <laughs> we're still friends <laughs> don't know why but we are <laughs> and it's so awkward but we're friends no yeah literally we talked on my birthday actually <laughs> for like two minutes that will be in a vlog you'll hear about that soon but anyways um yeah we're still friends <laughs> so awkward but you know, for real, I never really got like the closure more than friends with him. Hopefully I do someday. I just, I need it. I need it to keep going on in life. I need it for, you know, whenever I do date again, I'll feel more comfortable about it with just being moved on. That's what I'm trying to say. I started having dreams of the guy because I didn't really get a lot of closure and I don't know. I mean, this dude isn't honestly like my type, but you know, personality wise, I thought he was really sweet. I loved how he cared about his family. We both loved to write. You know, we had some things in common. We both went through anxiety. We both had really deep, meaningful, like, talks. He's the only guy I ever really felt like a romantic spark with. So even though, like, we didn't have much in common, it was little things like that that kind of, like, I don't know, made my heart flutter type of thing, you know? But we didn't work out. Um, a lot of miscommunications. A lot of me and him just not being compatible more than friends. So we just didn't work out. And it was really heartbreaking. And I think it still is to this day because he's like the only dude in my life where I feel like I've learned a lot about myself, which is like so weird. Yeah, so anyways, I started having a lot of dreams of him after we didn't work out, like literally. And I didn't really understand it. I think over time it was because like I never got the closure, still could have feelings, all that jazz, I don't know. I mean, I probably do. <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. I don't get it. <laughs> I want to move forward in my life. Oh my gosh. And that's what got my inspiration was like, it made me learn with the dude, like, because they weren't like bad dreams. It was just more like, why was I having this type of dream? Questioning things in the dream. Didn't have my answers to things. So I kind of came to realization of like, you know, Melanie, like learn from your dreams, you know? Why am I still having them about them? So like, yeah, and I'll actually be real. The last time I had a dream about the dude was when I was in Tennessee. <laughs> It was, I'll say it real quick. Basically, it was, we were in the soccer field. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we were at a soccer field, not playing soccer. It was like a moment. I was walking up to him. He was walking up to me. And do you still have feelings for me? Or do you have a girlfriend? You know, I was kind of like asking those questions. <laughs> Melanie in her dreams is actually pretty confident. Melanie in real life, I could not ask these questions. Honestly, I mean, me even talking about it. Yeah, or even like in real life, it would take me like forever to finally have the courage to like ask the dude the questions because I love to stall time, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Okay, fine, sorry. <laughs> I'm admitting my own weakness, okay? <laughs> I told him that, <laughs> okay, there we go. And he didn't answer, but he like stared at me a lot. And then I was like already waking up, but when I was like finally kind of awake in conscience, but still like asleep, I was like, you know what? I need to know an answer. And I remember being like, Melanie, why? That's not how it works. So at that point, I would consider myself waking up when I got a quote unquote answer because I was like aware of what was going on. So technically in the dream, I did not get the answer. That to me symbolizes that I don't know the answer. I don't. I haven't seen anything on social. I haven't had the courage to ask because we're close, but I don't know. We almost dated. So like, it's kind of a sore subject and then I don't want to be in his business. You know, I'd rather him just tell me, you know, <laughs> I'd rather it be like that. I mean, I think vice versa too. Well, wait, I'd rather him like ask me if I was seeing someone than me telling him I'm seeing someone. <laughs> 
<laughs> does this all even make sense? I hope it does, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. Anyways, so when I was like awake, I wanted the dream to finish because I clearly knew what was going on. So in that, technically it wasn't even a dream anymore because I was imagining it. He said he did have a girlfriend, but I don't consider that in the dream because I was already conscious and I just wanted an answer. So yeah, and since then I haven't, which is actually pretty rad. Actually, just last night, I had a dream of someone else that I used to have a crush on in my hometown. And I woke up being like, what? Why? <laughs> so maybe dreams of the actual dreams, dude, will stop now. <laughs> I think they've stopped because, honestly, if I were to just keep having a dream, it really just goes down to the questions I have, you know? So hopefully I find out the answer soon and then, you know, over time I'll have no more dreams because I'll know everything. <laughs> Oh gosh. So that's with the dreams. <laughs> and then I have another one, which is take chances. And part of it is about the dreams, dude. I'll say why. And then the other part is just like you taking a chance. So the take chances in the collection basically to me means that with the dreams, dude, he lived out of state, not far. And I don't want to say where, <laughs> but anyways, a year ago, like last summer, I took a chance all by myself to drive out of state go somewhere i'm not familiar with at the time just to prove how much i really liked him i'm very like mixed feeling if i regret it or not i regret it in a sense of like i wish i had it more planned i wish i had a friend come with me i was really terrified i was really scared i like wish i planned it more thoroughly and it was also really scary like i was scared of my life <laughs> even though it was only an hour and 15 minutes <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then, uh, it was, okay. It was an hour, but I say 15 because I got lost. His family actually kind of made fun of me for getting lost, but it was all in good fun though. It was all in good fun. Like they knew where I got lost. Like, you know, when I met everyone and they were just like, and I'm like, I know. Okay. I got lost. That's like a long story time, but I don't know when I'll feel comfortable sharing about it. I briefly share about it, I think on the Uncut series a little bit. Yeah, if y'all watch episode two, yeah. So yeah, anyways, for me, it was like taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, trying to overcome a fear that I didn't think I could do. I didn't think like, honestly, like my mom would believe in me. I didn't think anyone would. Well, my mom actually still doesn't know about it. <laughs> Love you, mom, if you're watching the video. <laughs> But, you know, and so I just kind of wanted to prove people wrong, that, like, I could do it. Even prove, like, the dude wrong, you know? I just wanted to go after it. <laughs> also, like, one time back in high school, back when I was dating my high school sweetheart, we, like, hiked with some friends. It was kind of spur of the moment. I didn't expect it to be a big hike. I wore sandals that day, flip-flops, actually, which, like, no, don't do. And... I was really scared and I almost like didn't want to overcome it because I was like terrified because we had to like hike this it was a big hike guys it was scary I think I can mention the hike it was like this Lewis and Clark trail hike so yeah really scary but it was all worth it at the end so I would say going up and going down was the hardest of the mountain hills I don't know whatever it's called to like see the view but anyways my ex you know he helped me obviously my boyfriend at the time he helped and I made it up and I remember just being like whoa yeah I was just like I can't believe I did it especially in flip-flops and like I just overcame like that little fear like I took a chance you know yeah it was just like really like you know I guess life-changing because it's like whoa I couldn't believe like I did that you know so I was pretty proud of myself there. So to me, taking a chance in life is like taking a leap of faith, whether if you're afraid to drive somewhere, you're afraid to hike somewhere, afraid to fly somewhere. <laughs> yeah, just kind of like anything in life. Honestly, like whatever you're afraid of, it's like take a chance, you know? What do you got to lose? It could be any little silly thing or big thing. And that's the whole point of kind of why that is in the collection. Oh, and then take chances. It's also like a religious shirt design too yeah it's available for girls and guys just want to disclaim on that oh and then next i have my 20 something collection i'm 22 i'm in my 20s and it's like a birthday theme because if you're in your 20s 20s are like the really hardest times in your life but also they're like really fun and exciting and you should feel like excited to be 20 because like you're an adult you could do whatever you want to do you can stand up for yourself you can vote 
you can do all these things but also at the same time as 20 year olds we do like struggle a lot more that's why i have the 20 something series on my channel i can leave the playlist in the description below but go check out those shirts those are just kind of like they're happy birthday 20 something shirts that could be a cute birthday shirt if you buy it for your birthday they're for like any age honestly you don't even have to be 20 you can get it if you wanted to i love that design it's honestly like really cute with the cupcakes and yeah i mean that kind of sums it up basically it's based on the 20 something series i have on this channel we talk about things we go for in our 20s but then also like just embrace your 20s be like excited and then the last thing i have in my collection is nation <laughs> which honestly guys i'm really excited for because y'all have watched my journey we are the Mel's Nation. I just took off Mel's so anyone can wear it and not have to feel weird wearing like Mel's, you know? <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. So it's just Nation and I've talked about it a little on the channel, but not like enough. So first off, Nation's like the non-religious shirt for like guys and girls so anyone can get it. I wanted to have some variety in the collection. So yeah, go check out Nation. What like Nation like means to me is like, it's a deep meaning and that's why I have like us as like the Mel's Nation. When I first started this journey with YouTube, I didn't expect people to watch. I didn't expect people to care. I didn't think people would talk to me about it. You know, I'm very shy and introverted. I was really scared to like put myself out there. I'm still terrified, but it gets better every time when you learn something you do better and you grow but then i just got a lot of love and support from you all and i just want to thank you guys real quick and please stay and please join if you're new or want to subscribe or you're unsure to subscribe because i'm just gonna keep growing the part of the Mel's nation is just like i started out like really small there's small of you guys there wasn't many and i didn't know if it was going to continue growing honestly like i really just didn't have faith in myself i wasn't sure like i'm just so introverted and shy and scared to put myself out there but i've done it and i want us to continue to grow i don't take it for granted i love you all so much i appreciate all the love and support but that's the whole point of Mel's nation and the nation shirt is like you are your own nation you know you are your own person you are your own team sounds weird I know but it's true like you are you and there's so many of you on this channel and I want you guys to have your inner nation be like confident in yourself go out and take a chance on something you know you are your own person and I want nation to mean to you like just to be confident in yourself and you do you and you be proud of you and take on whatever you feel is best to do in life you know or I don't know. I just want you to strive to your best in life and be your own nation and be yourself. So that's the whole point with nation. I hope you guys check out the collection. It's something I've worked on really hard with my guy friend. He worked tremendously hard on the designs. So shout out to him. Shout out to Amazon because they're the ones that get it all together. I'll be real. So like, yeah, I'm the one that came up with the creativity, the idea. My guy friend is the designs and then Amazon's the one that makes the magic happen. So I've just been very blessed for this opportunity. Please go check it out. It really mean the world. And yeah, that's it with the collection. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Mel's Nation. I love you guys so much and please stay safe. Mwah. And honestly, just thank you guys for being along for the journey. And I can't wait to see more of you and meet more of you. Bye.